Hello, miss. Um, are you lost? Did you need a place to stay for the night? I know there's a lot of refugees around, um, and I just want to make sure that you get with your family. Um, no, I have a place to stay. I'm Princess Salem. Oh, your highness, I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you. That's all right. Is I there... was... Go I ahead. was looking for you, actually. Really? Yes. I, uh... Noticed you a few times around, but I never got the chance to speak with you. I mean, I have been to a bunch of different events, but I'm sorry to say I haven't actually seen you. What happens when you're tiny? I guess. <laughs> so, what did you want to talk to me about? Well, I noticed that very interesting ring that you wear, and I was wondering where you got it. Oh, well, I've got, like, half a dozen rings on, so which one are you talking in particular? And um, if, you could, if you could walk with me, I do have patrol to make sure that there are people finding a place to stay. Oh, yes, that works. It's the green and gray, I believe. Green, light, gray, and I can't remember the other color. It just slipped my mind a little bit. Oh, you mean this one? The one with the green stone? Yes, that's the one. I have had this one for a long time. Yes, it just looked familiar and very interesting. I suppose it would look familiar. Um, oh? It's... It was given to me by a badger. A badger gave a griffin a ring? This seems kind of odd, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I don't think that he knew I was a griffin at the time. Oh. So... Did he never see you in another form, basically? Um, no, I was a little girl. Ah, well, that's interesting. Very interesting. So? Do you keep in contact with the person who gave you it? The person who gave it to me, I don't think is around anymore. At least the last that I understood how lines to go. Oh, that's sad. Not really, he wasn't a very good person. Oh? Then why do you still have the ring? Because he wasn't my intended. Ah, that makes more sense. So, what is your name? Well, most people call me Egrif, because I'm a griffin, and... But it's it's Eli, and... I've heard about you. Oh? Yes. All good things, of course. Well, there was another Eli running around, so that's part of the reason why I started accepting people calling me as Egrif, because mm. I'm Eli Griffin, so I'm Egrif. Yeah. But what have you heard? Oh, just that you're a pretty good literomancer, and, well, really, just stories. Don't know if any of you are true. What kind of stories? It's interesting to hear things about yourself when you don't know people are talking. Um... People tend to judge your height, think you're very intimidating. But from what I've seen, you don't seem intimidating that much. I mean, being a griffin, it's kind of hard to be small. The last time I was small, I was a griffling. I was a little, little thing. But I haven't been that little since since I was in Ruse Cave, so... Yes, I've always been tiny. <laughs> it's sad. Sometimes it's a blessing to be small. Yes, it's sometimes easier to get away from big people. Although I can see how it could have its disadvantages. But being big isn't always all it's cracked up to be. Fitting into, like, I have to get special access to get into, like, the Warren because I'm huge. <laughs> I have to stay at Ruse Cave in the Warren because I, I don't fit inside most of the other passageways because I'm big. So How tall are you exactly? Well, my shoulder's about 170 centimeters. I'm about 5 foot 8. Wow. So I guess I'd be about another six to ten inches at the top of my ears. That is humongous. I can't imagine being that high. It's about that bad. It helps me to see when I'm doing patrols and flying, so. I imagine. I'm terrified of the heights. I don't think I'd ever be able to go up. I think you're a pretty brave person, regardless of whether you choose to fly or not. Yes. I am brave to just even be doing some of the things I do, especially well, with my parents I have. Oh? Yes. So you've heard about Gala, right? Uh, the way he's been. Unfortunately, yes. I'm happy, but sad, because it means that I'm the heir to the throne. Well, I didn't realize I was in the presence of an heir. 
Yeah, just let's hope he doesn't get better. But let's hope he doesn't get worse. You that, can have him stealing my place. That's a bit interesting there. Yes. Does does, does Nick know that you that I want the does, throne? Does does King Nicholas know that you know, that you are so so hungry for the throne? Probably. I am his daughter, so you know he probably suspects it. But who doesn't want a throne? Especially if it means you get to be the bigger person in the situation. I mean, I don't know. I've nobles have kind of been a sore point with me for a while. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, and it's kind of ironic. I'm a regent that I'm mm-hmm. dealing with nobles, but and no offense to your nobility, but I, I've had enough nobles try to treat me poorly or take advantage of me that I am very wary of most nobles, and so choose not to usually associate with them. Oh, that must have been some past you had. Where are you from, anyways? I was born in a blue cave. A blue cave? Yeah, it's beautiful. And the particular cave outlet that I was in had had etchings and, and inlaid obsidian and inlaid other gems and things. So it was definitely made and prepared for, you know, for me. But it was it was a beautiful place. I didn't stay there long. Ruth found me shortly after I hatched, but Is it um, still around? I haven't been back there. I don't know, actually. And with the way the world has changed with the Tome Wars, I don't know if it still exists. Yeah, the wars suck, but that's just life, I guess. Yeah, I suppose it is. So, How long have you been here? Um, I was recruited to Avis by Chrysalia, the Penguin Prince. But I'm not native to Avis. Like, I wasn't born to Avis. So, oh? Yep. That's, that's cool. Are you... do you think you're a good little romancer? I've been told that I'm decent. I've been told that I'm pretty wordy too. So, but wordy doesn't necessarily mean good. I mean, I have literomantic power. I know how to use it, but that doesn't make me super powerful necessarily or even good. I just write lots of words. Well, I guess if you're helping your house out, you can't be all too bad. That's true. Do you have a favorite book genre you like? Hmm, book genre. I like a lot of fantasy, but I also like prehistoric fiction, like fiction that takes place in the prehistory world. Those are fun to read. I like reading romances and paranormal romances. Personally, they're my favorite. I get told it's just a phase. Everything's just a phase. Sometimes you come around with them more often than others. Yeah. How do you feel about the song that's going around? There's a lot of songs going around. (laughs) The one... The fucking plague is going on. Yes, the, um... One about griffins. The one that was repeated, I guess you could say. I don't know how I feel about that one. It's very sad. And I, I don't necessarily know. I, I can't. I don't know what to tell you. It's just, it's telling history from a perspective. Mm-hmm. Because every song is a perspective. But Some songs may just have a little more perspective than others. That's true. It's just if there were that many griffins at some point. Maybe it would have been nice to know them. Yeah, it's sad what can happen to families. Yes. How about on to a happier topic? What's your favorite food? See, you had to pick one that I don't have one. (laughs) Oh, facts. My favorite food's corn, personally. Always loved it. I've lived a lot of places, and I've tried a lot of different foods. And I don't know if I have a favorite anymore. Do you have a favorite pastime? I love flying. I mean, as a literary I'm a writer, so I kind of have to keep up with it. But I enjoy just letting myself be free on the wind. That's nice. Yeah. For me, I read. That's my pastime. It's nice to get out of my own world. Reading is fun, because it brings you into other people's worlds. Yeah. And sometimes it can help you figure out the problems you have to face and worry about what's going to happen next in somebody else's. Very true seem like you're becoming a wise little heiress. <laughs> I don't know about that. So. Do you have a favorite color? It varies between blue and green. Oh, the earth. Yeah. Me personally, it's pink because it's a color of love. Hmm. I didn't know love had a color. It depends on the person because for some people, love could be clear and transparent. But for me personally, it's pink. It's good that you know that. Because everybody has different beliefs when it comes to stuff like that. 
We live in a very beautiful place. I wish it was more furnished and more prepared for such company. We're still in the process of finishing it. Luckily, it was mostly done when the war started. Only a few offices left to build, but the Avis lands are just as beautiful as Georgia yep. Pines is here. I've had fun talking to you. Likewise. Don't get lost <laughs> on your way back to your family, all right? I don't I want your I don't want your dad giving you problems for you getting lost on my patrol. Oh, nonsense. He won't know. Hmm. All right. Well, go along then. Goodbye. I'll see you again. Have a good night. You too.